All right, guys. Tim Dirks, I'm back with another piece by this video. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at Onigashima uh, Luffy. Only reason I'm showcasing him uh, or showcasing him today, should I say, um, is because I got the skin, obviously. Uh, me as a green man, I kind of had to. And honestly, here's the thing about the skins I didn't want to do a little tangent about. The skins besides his are just really bad. <laughs> Zoro's is really ugly, honestly. I think he's the worst one. And then I feel like Nami, you can't really tell a difference. That's just me personally. With the Luffy though, he um like, like the whole gradient cape and like the I mean even though like you know all red they could have done like a little bit of black instead, but I the gradient is really really cool. So this has potential to be a really really good update depending on what they give for the next skins. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe uh, each season they're gonna drop some more and you know as like the patterns of the three characters right now, I think they're gonna be uh, Onigashima Straw Hat themed first. So maybe like Brooke, uh, Jinbei, um, Sanji, all those guys can get um, a skin, Robin, things like that. So hopefully they look good. Um, right now though, I think Luffy's only the really the cool one. Even though like unit wise, you're gonna want to get the Zoro and Nami one. That's usually what you're gonna play uh, more, especially Zoro, compared to this Luffy. That's why I'm showcasing him out today, just to see how good or bad should I say he aged. Um, he's one of those characters that kind of um relies on his fixed damage so like i did like i talked about with like the queen video um fixed damage characters usually don't have that much of a good shelf life um because a lot of characters uh that come out like ex and stuff heal on fixed damage so it kind of fucks them over but uh right now this luffy <clears throat> he's not the worst in the world he's in a, a little bit of a better spot now it's just a little like a couple of things do fuck him up like i said i'll get into later um for the metal set though i'm just gonna be using generic um defender set it's a uh, buffalo corazon and fujitora just damage reduction i was gonna end up using rumble but i decided not to just because i wanted to try out this metal sets and it just built it a while ago um now so we'll see how it goes there's a little bit of attack a little bit of everything uh 1k 600 and 1 uh, 1.2k not too shabby for a uh, defender setup. Uh, probably perfect world. Um, it should be defense, obviously, because fixed damage. But his skill one doesn't do that much damage, so I kind of wanted to buff that just a bit. But um, yeah, well, take a look at his skills right now. His first skill, uh, skill one is Rio. So it's a mid range area attack. It's like short range, not really mid range. You can barely push the range nowadays. It's a little bit iffy because uh, when you hit it, it kind of does like this little explosion. I guess that you can kind of push, but besides that, it's like short range. <laughs> It has knockback, obviously, uh, nullify stagger reset period of time, and then attack debuff at level 5. It also resets um, stacks, so this is actually pretty good against stacking units. I remember, like, uh, when Zoro, not Zoro, um, what's his name, Roger came out, this was pretty good, just to debuff reset his uh, stack. Any character that stacks nowadays, which I can't really remember, I think it's only just attack, yeah. So it's not like defense, so like Claw and, and Gear 5, they won't take damage from it anyway. But if it's like a character that stacks attack, I can't think of any to the top of my head. You can just get rid of it, which is pretty nice. A skill attack, 600, uh, 615, knockback, attack reduction by 10%. Um, because the reduction takes over the thing, it does take off the attack bow, which is really nice. It's for 20 seconds, and the cooldown is 31 seconds for the skill. Not too shabby. Um, this one is his bread and butter. Obviously, he's a, a gum gum hog gatling. So it's 6% um, of max HP, up to 13 hits. So if you're fighting a Zoro, I think you only can get 2% off because I think he heals 4% if I remember correctly. If, if, four, if, if it's 4, it's 2. If 5, you know, it's 1. So it could do damage. It's just not as much. Um, it's just an example, though. I'll talk about that later. Uh, it has stun 50% um, activation for 3 seconds. So if you can get those stuns off, um, that's kind of like to keep them in the Gatling. So that's actually pretty good. Um, this is kind of like what uh, Green Kata's punching skill should have been. But mm, it's okay. Um... Let me see. Let's see. Do, do, do. It, there's no um, crit on it. Um, mm, yeah, yeah. There's no crit on it. That, that's weird. They, they, they were that weird. I'm sorry. I'm just reading this shit right now. Um, skill attack for the last one. Uh, he like does like a little pushback at the end. It's a 340 knockback. Like I said, the cooldown is 44 seconds. It's pretty long, but his traits kind of make up for that, which I'll get into right now. Um, obviously, Luffy. No if I shock. No if I entrance because he can't get a boner. <laughs> Uh, when attacking an enemy with skill 1, you remove the attack increase, there you go, and then you get, um, you remove the skills, uh, the cooldown by 15%, so it's pretty nice. Uh, like I said, resetting, uh, people's attack buffs are pretty good still. Reset period time after using skill 2, you get, you change down to stagger, so you can get, um, basically roll down some more. <laughs> 
when that happens. When around your uh, captured treasure, you get 30% reduction, and then from attackers, you get 20%. I actually didn't know that, so it's actually up to 50 um, when, against your attackers. Uh, and then when you attack an enemy whose parameters are boosted, so I think that's just like the buffs, for, like the crits and stuff, you get a skill 1 by 7%, which I did not know that. Um, when you attack an enemy, you get 100% chance to increase defense by 3%, so it's actually pretty good. Like I said, he does have like a really, really good stack. Only it's 3 up to 50, but you have a lot of multi-hit from like, um, I mean his normal is only 3 hits, but like his skill 2, obviously, the Gatling. Um, and also resets when you die, obviously, and then you get cooldown time of skill 2 by 3% as well. It's kind of like the, uh, the event, not the event, the medals for Kaido when you get hit, you get skill 2, but this one is skill, uh, or skill 1, this one is skill 2. Yeah, and then when you do a knockback, you get 20% HP, which is not bad. Nowadays, you can't really knock back too, too many people for the meta. You know, Gear 5's on the flag. Um, Zoro, when he has team, oh, when he has a uh, fucking type advantage. Big Mom, all those characters can't get knocked back. So it's kind of iffy on that one. Um, and then you have the heal, the uh, trait for the defender. Uh, I'm using on the side, I'm going to be using uh, Hybrid Kaido. So one of like the really, really strongest like runners right now. A little bit hard to back cap, like I said before, but um, he does come in clutch, so I'll attack against him eventually. Um, I already made a showcase on him a while ago. Same metal set, same principle applies. Get triple Kaido, always going to be phenomenal. For the support, it's a 166.3. It's a runner, shot, Paris, Premisa, Captain, Grand Line, Worst Gen. A little bit of New World, Attacker, and Defender. I ended up, actually ended up changing it to, uh, uh, what's it called, Grand Line instead to make it a defensive setup. I don't have Zone yet, so I would be using that right now, but I mean, it's fine for what it is, but... Yeah, this is only Luffy with the new skin. Like I said, the new skin right now, this one isn't too bad. It's just his unit isn't good. Um, he can do good against Gear 5 and Claw because they don't heal fixed damage. But then if you're fighting like uh, Albert, you basically get one shot. And then you also heal him from your knockbacks. Um, Queen benefits from your knockbacks as well. Um, a lot of like new units really dick on this guy. And then if you have your defense stack, Karasu can even kill you. So that's already telling you something. <laughs> um... Yamato heals fixed damage, both of them. I fought a couple of those already. Zoro, like I said, is probably like the worst matchup ever. I had at one match, I was getting absolutely dicked on by one. I was like, like my team was literally not helping me. I was in the corner getting slashed to pieces by him. Um, so yeah, like I said, the meta, it's not the worst for him because of the gear fives and claws. But if you're facing like Zoros and stuff, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> it's not gonna be a fun time for you, that's for damn sure, but... Yeah, this is the skin, though, like I said, I'm just, it's mainly just for the uh, skin show off. Let me know what you guys think about these skin things, the whole new update and all that stuff. I do want to know about your guys' thoughts. I was going to make a short about it, but I decided not to, just so I can make this uh, showcase video anyway. Um, let me know how you guys think Only Luffy does in the meta. I got a couple of cheeky, cheeky kills with him, so we'll see how, uh, how that goes. Like I said, not the greatest meta, but he's a lot better than what he was before. Yeah, with that being said, let me know what you guys think about the gameplay, video, all that good stuff. Uh, update. Blah, 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 blah. And, uh, and this Team 3 Star sign out. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.
したのお前がいなくて俺一人で叩けられる俺の攻撃が一番効いてただろう隠したを探ってる